Bigger, Better, Best. <sighs> a Master Area Book by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Marsha Winborn, a level two. Bigger, Better, Best. Mine's the best. No, mine is not. Is too. Jill shared a room with her older sister, Jenny. Their brother, Jeff, had a tiny room right across the hall. Every morning when she woke up, Jill could hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My backpack can hold more books than yours, Jeff said. But mine's purple and yours is green. Purple's better, Jenny answered. Jill stuck her head under the pillow. Mine has an airplane. Pooh! Mine has ducks and ducks are better. Every night when she went to sleep, Jill could hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My book's got more pictures than yours, Jenny said. But mine's got more pages, Jeff answered. So what? Mine's in color. Oh yeah? Mine's in French. Jill put her fingers in her ears. My book's the best, she whispered to Fudge. Look, it's about a cat just like you. One day, Mom and Dad announced that the family was going to move to a new house. The house was so big that Jill, Jenny, and Jeff could each have their own room. My room will be the best, said Jeff. No, mine will, said Jenny. Will Fudge get his own room too? asked Jill. Cats don't need their own room, said Mom. Everyone wanted to see the new house, so they piled into the car. Jill brought fudge. When they got there, Jeff and Jenny ran right upstairs to see their rooms. Ha, huh, I told you my room is better, Jenny said. Look at how big my window is. It's humongous. I've got a window too, said Jeff, but bet mine is bigger. Stop arguing, you two, said Mom. Here, take this pad of paper and cover your windows. If it takes more sheets to cover one of the windows, then you'll know that that one has the larger area. Jill helped Jeff tape sheets of paper up one side of his window. It's three sheets high, Jeff announced. Then he made as many rows as he could across the window. I can make four rows, he said. That's 12 sheets of paper in all. See, mine's way bigger. They ran to Jenny's room. My window is two sheets high. I can only make two rows, Jenny announced, but it's really long and long's better. Yeah, if you're a snake. She covered the entire window with sheets of paper. I can fit six sheets across, she said. That would make 12 sheets of window in all. Exactly the same, said Jill. Can I have a piece of paper? Rats. But mine's pretty and pretty's better. This is a pretty small room, sis, said Jeff. I bet mine is bigger than yours. No, it's not, said Jenny. Yes, it is, said Jeff. Uh-uh, yours is way smaller. Quiet down, said Dad. That paper is too small. Here, you can use this old newspaper to see which room has the larger area. Jenny taped sheet after sheet of newspaper along one of her walls. My room is six sheets wide, she announced. Then Jill helped her tape sheets along the next wall. That's five sheets, said Jenny. So if I covered the whole floor with newspaper, that would be 30 sheets in all. Does it smell like fish in here? Well, I know my room's bigger, said Jeff. He grabbed the rest of the newspaper and ran to his room. He taped sheets along one wall. It's six sheets wide, he shouted. Then Jeff put as many sheets as he could along the next wall. There were four sheets in all. It would take 24 sheets to cover the whole floor. Mine's better. I win. See, mine's bigger, said Jenny. Mm. 
Wait, said Jill. What about that little part in front of the closet? Jeff taped down more newspaper. There were two rows of three sheets each. That's 24 sheets plus six sheets. That makes it 30 sheets in all, Jeff said. Exactly the same. Again, said Jill. Hey, look at this ad. Zheesh. Ha ha, he he. Well, my room's better than yours because it's closer to the bathroom, said Jenny. Ha, said Jeff. Mine's better because it's closer to the kitchen. You know what, said Jill? I think I have the best room in the house. Jeff and Jenny looked at her in surprise. But your room is the smallest, Jenny pointed out. And you've got just one little window, Jeff added. I know, said Jill, but my room is the farthest away from the two of you, and it's the closest to Fudge. Jill's room, the place for Fudge. Some activities on area. Some more activities on area and some books that are like this book.